I would guess that everybody remembers the first time they learned about dark matter. If you never heard of it, maybe this blog will count. So what is dark matter, really? We don't know. We call it dark because it doesn't give off light and doesn't absorb light. Our microwaves, x-rays, gamma rays, etc. It doesn't care about electricity or magnetism either. In other words, it looks like this. Except it makes no sound. We do know it has gravity because it pulls on stars and galaxies. And from that we know its total weight. At the center of our galaxy, there isn't so much percentage-wise. Out here on the outskirts, it's about equal to normal matter. The percentage gets higher further out. There's about five or six times more dark matter than normal matter in the entire universe. But aside from gravity, it doesn't interact much with normal matter, if at all. What else do we know? That it's really cool. Its temperature isn't all that high, and it doesn't move as fast as light. This wouldn't be a master clock blog if I didn't tell you there is a fascinating hand-waving proposal to search for dark matter by flying two different kinds of atomic clocks as close to the sun as we can get, in the hope that the sun will have trapped enough dark matter that it will mess with their time differentially, and that would also test the theory of relativity. I can tell you this, the day we find out what dark matter really is, or the day Einstein is proven wrong, will be another day that nobody will ever forget.